All right, my friends, good morning and welcome back. Today we are jumping right into this. Today we are rocking a 1200 pound magnet and we got probably about 75 feet of some pretty heavy duty rope. And today we are out here magnet fishing in a little bit of North Carolina nowhere. So yeah, we're gonna give this a few throws and if we find something, we find something. If we don't, we don't, we'll move on. We have other spots in line uh, after this one. So we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, first throw. Do we got anything? A whole lot of nerfing, just metal flakes. I hope it's not one of those days. <laughs> That is mad creepy. I saw this over here on the ledge. I was just like, I gotta go check that out. <laughs> oh my God. Here we go, guys. First actual, I don't even wanna call it like an actual find, but first thing of the day, we got a little, a little metal pokey poke. That's what we'll call it. Oh, and a nail, nice. Doing big things today, boys and girls. Big, big, big things. Got a little something something on here. Hopefully it's not more crusty flakes. Oh my goodness, it's the crustiest of all the flakes. Dang. Got a little something coming in. What do we got? Please don't be a snag. What in the world did you used to be? Oh, and freaking G. All right, we got something to an old something. Oh, it's one of those things. Like just in a much smaller piece. We found one of these before, except it was probably like 10 feet long. Had all those little rigid teeth and stuff like that on there. I think someone said, hold on, we got a car coming behind me. One moment, please. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I guess someone told me you hook this to like a tractor and you literally just pull it behind you and I guess it I, I don't know, tills up the soil, maybe makes it so you can plant it. I don't, I don't really know, I'm not a farmer, I'm sorry. <laughs> OMG, so I'm guessing it's one of these days. I hope it doesn't stay one of these days, but it's one of these days so far. Just a whole lot of, oh, there's some fishing tackle right there. Not the best stuff, but there it is. Uh, here we go. This is different. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it's crazy how many locks I found in the water actually like, like stuck together. That is honestly pretty crazy. <laughs> cool beans. We are gonna set that over there and take that home for sure, for sure. I like finding little stuff like that. Those are definitely like those little, those little wall hanger pieces. What in the freaking world? If this is just a big piece. Oh no, I got all my flaky stuck together. Yeah, I don't know. It definitely used to be something. Uh oh, we got cars coming from both sides. Lean away, don't die. Turn around, don't drown. Whoa, we got something big, guys. We got something big. I have a feeling it's gonna come swinging loose. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. Whew, this is a skinny ledge. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit further. Dude, a penny. Heads up, good luck. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at it. All right, guys, so let's watch for snaky snakes.
Uy. Dang, I don't know. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's like more like structure or something right there. Like, like under the water, like not a part of the bridge. I feel like I said that really weird. <laughs> Dude, these flowers are so freaking pretty. Who are you? Where are you from? Tell me your name. What is your sign? Some kind of berry, maybe. Oh, shoot. Oh. Danny almost went for a swim, y'all. That'd have been bad. All right, back on track, back on track, back on track. Oh, gosh. And I am 99% sure that is poison ivy right there, so we'll just stay away. All right, so I'm hoping getting that thing out of the way will change this up a little bit. Because I've been trying to drop the magnet straight over the side, and it's been clicking it the whole way. I thought we, hold on, freaking cars, man. So I thought we had like a pipe running all the way from that side to that side, but it just didn't feel right. It felt like it was giving just a little bit in a pipe. Shouldn't be giving at all. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that was like on top of some good stuff. That would be pretty freaking nifty. Oh, a big click. Dang, so whatever it was, we didn't even get it. There's still more big stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Big metal plate. Don't let it stick flat. Here we go. If these big pre... Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> if these big pieces of the bridge get stuck flat to your magnet, you're gonna have a problem. <laughs> oh, something dangling off the bottom now. Oh, it's a shotgun shell. <laughs> a little 410 shotgun shell. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> the, the casing just pretty much just wiped off. That's freaking cool. Oh, look, and a little, uh, that's what it is. I was trying to think of the name for it, a little wing nut. I was gonna make a joke about how you could put like a wing nut on top of your shotgun shell to make it safer, but uh, I don't feel like getting sued, so. Yeah, it's just one of those days, y'all. The fines are not the most, oh yes sir, I'm over here doubting myself. <laughs> settle down, Danny, settle down. We don't need to get too negative on us today. There ain't no reason for that. We're still finding plenty of juicy stuff. I was gonna make some negative comments about how my fines weren't the most like juicy, but I mean, come on now. Come on now, Danny, stay positive. What is that? You ain't about that hustle. You ain't, you ain't them negative peoples. <laughs> Yeah, like the way I talk to myself. People must think I'm crazy if they're over-listening. <laughs> Is that a basketball hoop? We found a basketball hoop. Nah, I got a little ahead of myself. I thought, you know, you'd put it, I thought, I thought I saw like, well, I think I thought that, oh, I don't know, I'm just, Damn. <laughs> now it's in two pieces. I really don't know. I'm thinking maybe this was just like a bucket and that was like the top to the bucket or something like that. You'd have it like, like that maybe. I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments. I really have no freaking clue. That's pretty awesome, yo. I love this kind of magnet fishing. So I don't know how much of this is actually going to make it into the video, but I'm finding stuff almost every single freaking throw. Good click. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, don't cut me. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know, guys. It's definitely something. This isn't a naturally occurring product of our creakeries around here. God, creakeries just doesn't sound like a appropriate word like I know there's nothing wrong with it it just sounds like it has like a little little bit of evil intent to it man I have to rethink that one in the future creakery a creakery like your waterways I don't know y'all I try to come up with stuff to be like YouTube creative and a lot of times I feel like I just say things that don't make sense what in the freaking 
Oh, it's a screwdriver. <laughs> I recognize that. <laughs> Ooh, just in time. That's what I'm talking. Oh, don't fall. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. That is exactly what I'm talking about. This motherfucker looks like he's been hit by a lawnmower or something. Damn, RIP. <laughs> First throw, we got something on here already. What in the world? Oh, it's like a massive screw. I was like, is it a freaking flashlight? Nah, it ain't a flashlight, y'all. A flashlight would have been cool. Also kind of thought it was a gun barrel for a second, but that just shows how jumpy my brain is and wanting to find something good. But uh, yeah, you can definitely see how there's like a nut right there. And I'm assuming that this was a screw, just assuming. Oh my goodness. Ah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly where the flashlight thing came from. Whew. This thing right here. All right. Oh, no. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ooh. That was almost a bad one, y'all. It's like I prematurely screamed because I thought I was going to be in pain. Luckily, that missed my foot by like that much. <laughs> oh, another shotgun shell. <laughs> yes, sir. That is a good old 12 gauge, boys and girls. getting the magnet out of the way but yeah check that out that is freaking sweet man all right guys we're just wandering around to make sure we got all the juicy finds collected up don't worry I am gonna come back with a bag in just a second to pick up the rest of those finds uh unfortunately I had to sacrifice my magnet fishing my slash cat litter bucket to my garden I put some garden bed uh, garden beds in my backyard the other day and unfortunately I was probably like just a couple square feet short of having space for everything I needed. So I had to sacrifice that bucket and a couple other buckets to uh, get my tomatoes in place. But that being said, let's take a look at some of these juicy finds for the day. So yeah, we got three shotgun shells, two locks, and uh, a flathead screwdriver. Honestly, y'all, these 410s are pretty freaking sweet. We do not find 410s at all. I mean, I find like a hundred of these things right here, but very rarely do I find these. I mean, it makes sense, you know, 410 is a lot less commonly used. It's almost, I don't want to say novelty or exotic, because it's it's neither of those, but it's definitely just not anywhere near as uh, prevalently used as like 12 gauge or even 20 gauge. So that's probably a big reason why we don't find as many uh, 410s as we do 20 gauge or 12 gauges. I mean, I've been to a boat ramp and I found 15, 20 of those and you know, just a couple square feet of each other. I mean, to be fair, someone probably spilled a box while they were setting out to do some bird hunting. But yeah, and then let's take a look at these locks right here. Everyone has to honk, y'all. They think they're so freaking funny. Hilarious. They should get a contract with Comedy Central. <laughs> Somebody's got to compete with Tosh.0. Oh. He can't run that network. Uh, yeah, so I, damn, the car wins, y'all. The car actually wins. He made me forget what I was saying. I, I got sidetracked and making fun of him and stuff like that. Now I completely forgot. But uh, I guess that's fine. I mean, these, these are my juicy finds for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the car so I don't forget them. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Today was so much fun. I can't believe we came out here and found all those freaking shotgun shells. The first time in a long time finding some 410s. Found some, uh, found the screwdriver, found this locks pinned together. Honestly, it was pretty freaking cool. But uh, in the next couple weeks, I do have some plans to get out to the more eastern part of the state, which is about an hour and a half away from here. So it's gonna be kind of like a day trip kind of thing. Um, 
and I wanted to go do some magnet fishing in the Newburn area and the Outer Banks area, maybe even all the way down to Wilmington, but I was probably gonna stay on the more like northeastern part of the state. If you happen to live in one of those areas, definitely hit me up. I would love to get up. I would love to go do some magnet fishing. And if you happen to have a super juicy spot or a spot that you think is super juicy, but you just don't know yet because you don't have a magnet, that is no worries. I have plenty of extra stuff for you. Um, but yeah, hit me up, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube comments. Maybe we can link up and, uh, and work something out. But all right, my folks, that is it for me today. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you next time.